Leos, welcome to the jungle, the urban jungle of Cancun, Mexico. Uh, this is your mid-November heart spread read. This reads the one that's uh, on your mind, one you're thinking of, one's uh, in your heart. If you want to be uh, romantic and corny about it, guys. Um, so, mid-November time frame, we're looking at you and this person you have in mind. And uh, but believe me, pre-shuffled <laughs> for quite a while here, relaxing on the deck. Get myself into a good place here. It's so peaceful. Knock on wood. Uh, someone uh, they're doing a little work next door. Sometimes you might hear hammering, but otherwise it's like uh, amazing that this place exists in the in the middle of a, what is a bustling city. Um, so let's look at you, guys. Magicians, Leos, this is you in the round love and relationships, where your mind is at and where your heart is at right now. I try to see this as a baseline, a little separate from your person. Gemini energy. Now your person's coming in. Where are they? Queen of Pentacles energy. In and around love and relationships. Again, baseline, how they are of, the, of their own self here. A little bit separate from the energy of you in a relationship. So we see them as being very solid, this Queen of Pentacles uh, person, probably an Earth sign, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn personality, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, significant, you have to think there. So they would also be someone who is very solid, you would think of them as either a little bit older or they're established. Um, they're someone that knows their value, knows their worth. They have an element of maturity about them. It's an important part of what they are. And you come in here with the magician energy. This always looks to me when it's in the either the number one or two position as a manifester. Someone that is actively manifesting. Welcome. <laughs> Check out the Soul Family Read, which is a collective read I do every day whoever resonates and see if you might relate to that because I, I literally call it a spirituality manifestation read <sighs> very intense energy um, it'd be straight up like that now I gotta say this if were you manifesting a stable earth sign person this is someone that's holding themselves they're not needy they're not gonna love you Queen of Pentacles she's not gonna love you uh, because she needs you she doesn't need anyone she really doesn't even need the king that's why they so often kill them whack whack you know um, because the queen of pentacles take care of themselves their kingdom um, so if this was really what you were manifesting Leo then uh, jackpot and here's where you could if, if you're resonating with that um, you know talk to me let me know what you think leave a comment about how that's working for you like I'd be interested you know what is what was your techniques for manifestation let's see now I'm gonna look at you Wow uh, this is how you're feeling about them as you interact with them now I separate from the magician that's your energy and now this is them a cross watcher your Leo is very sincere your Leo you were very into them uh, the ace of Pentacles is like you've really given this some thought and they probably are this nine of Pentacles uh, by this uh, Queen of Pentacles person here and you're kind of matching them too with the ace of Pentacles to their Queen of Pentacles energy um, so that's like kind of saying they're the one and you're not just starry-eyed about it with the ace of Pentacles You've done the math. Uh, you've nuts and bolts You know put it together and you know It's not just a feeling now This is the thing this is the person reacting to you now I'm going to get a clarification on that spirit. Uh, the Six of Swords, she's pulling under the moon back towards herself here, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, uh, 
Yeah, I just have to clarify that. It's the King of Wands. Look, guys, uh, this is a complicated heart spread, Leo. Uh, King of Wands is Leo. <laughs> uh, so, could be another Leo here. Um, because this Six of Swords is moving away from your Ace of Pentacles. And I'm clarifying that with the King of Wands. We have the King and Queen here. There's a fire sign person in their life. You know, and and I think like they're in the background of their life. They're an ex. They're almost ex. They're separated. They're something. But when you uh, offer this very sincere Ace of Pentacles, which is like, I love you. I would like to have a life with you. Uh, when I have a relationship, I would, could be I Ace of Pentacles. Could be I want to marry you. It's like they're running back. To this king and this king it would represent someone that can be controlling uh, Leo stands out um, but let's see if we can get some advice from spirit we have wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck I'm thinking about that so advice from spirit for you Leo, devil energy. This is advice from spirit for you towards this person. Now, caveat here, they could be a Capricorn person coming in with the Queen of Pentacles. And their other, their person here that they're running back to is probably a Leo, definitely a fire sign person. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Mm -hmm. and this can't be anything but a caution it's like you may think that you manifested like true love but maybe what you manifested was this devil energy um, some kind of sexual obsession or something like this maybe this began as an affair guys wow advice from spirit towards your person giving them advice and how they can interact best with you. So you can always count on spirit's advice. So spirit's never going to advise you to be obsessed and, and indulge in that uh, devil energy. Sometimes it can just be about really having great sex and being incredibly passionate. But coming as advice here, i got to see it as a little bit of a warning about not letting that uh, swamp you with the energy there. So it might be very strong with this person. But the Six of Swords is coming over the tower for them too. And you've got to look at this Ace of Pentacles is over the Devil. Let me see what the advice from Spirit is. But right here I feel like uh, Leo's, you're going to be called upon... Uh, to make a decision because that's just in the simplest way to put it that this person goes back like tries to go back to this ex maybe a Leo some of my Venus energy and but they don't want them they don't take them there's some drama the tower falls and um, I think that's kind of meant to be it's kind of karma I don't mean in punishment I mean just sort of balancing things out kind of nature's way of saying like you don't really know where your heart lies well let's just bring the tower down help you out here you know could force you into really thinking hard about it uh, it's, a, it's a heck of a thing to do as someone that's starting out as a queen of pentacles here so imagine the queen of pentacles now the advice of spirit is uh, this uh, tower so it could be something that frees them um, to be with you basically Three of Pentacles, it's the good worker card. That's coming as advice for the relationship as a whole. This is in the core position of the heart, the crux of the heart spread here. And I always see this such a positive card, the great worker, the glass blower's glass blower, the carpenter's carpenter. 
um, the best at what they do and it's certainly then bridging this and it's asking you guys to work together um, with this clarify the devil card the ace of wands okay so let there be no doubt you know this is advice from spirit now for you look at the colors look just look at those together you don't even have to know anything about tarot right now just the uh, this is advice from spirit, you know. Um, I'm kind of feeling like just be aware of how strong it is. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. Um, and if there's a cross watcher, uh, your Leo is really into you, okay? Let there be no doubt. Now let's see what the outcome of this is. Bit of a triangle here. It's like I'm in a soap, I call this a soap opera reading. Of course, the outcome is the lovers. Of course. So here's what's going to happen, guys. Um, you, Leo, are the lover. It could go crisscross, but with soulmates, but you are the lover and so with the outcome of the lovers it's going to go your way and what you're going to end up with is lovers uh, energy uh, so think of the fifth house in a composite relationship chart if you know the fifth house uh, if you know the uh, I mean the first house of your composite also the fifth that could be uh, if the sun's in the fifth could be a romance relationship uh, doesn't have to be bad. Sometimes you just have a romantic feel for life. That's the best of it. Um, but that's how you end up here. Um, and I think it's what you really want. And I almost see this advice from spirit. It's like, it's okay. I could say this. Uh, you know, I have the issues with the sun square the nodes. And it becomes part of this. And Saturn in the fifth house. Conjunct Eros. And, you know, it's okay to be passionate. It's okay to be sexual. It's okay to be on fire. It's okay to be uh, fired up. You know? And I think um, what I kind of get from the lovers, too, here, Leo, is you're really going to get what you want with this. And I'm not saying that. Well, it's a great thing. It's like this is what you I started out by saying. You're the manifester here. You manifested this. It's, it's probably someone, I think I get this, they're sexy as hell. Just sexy as hell. To you. They just phew, knock your head off every time. So, Leos, give me like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend, do share, and please do subscribe. Thank you, guys.